بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today I would like to talk about a bit of an important topic amongst the youth nowadays as well. With a lot of the youth it seems as though their problems, their burdens, it gets to them. And some of the youth nowadays unfortunately, they may feel as though they may want to end their life. Now ending their life this is known as suicide. What's this known as? Suicide. And obviously you know everyone knows that suicide it is haram. It is not permissible in the deen of Islam and you know but many many of the youth they are struggling to deal with this many people they are going through hardships they are going through uh, different issues and they may find it difficult and they may end up having these thoughts having these feelings so inshallah today I'd just like to go over uh, in depth uh, the ruling about suicide and also how we can deal with these sort of thoughts so first I'd like to cite for everyone uh, Surah Nisa, Ayah 28 Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa la taqtulu anfusakum And do not kill yourselves Inna Allah akana bikum rahima Surely Allah is ever compassionate to you So wa la taqtulu anfusakum And do not kill yourselves Inna Allah akana bikum rahima For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, is ever compassionate over you So you know we are told To not kill ourselves to not do this suicide. It is absolutely haram. This is in the Quran al Karim. Now, one may say, Oh, I'm just saying the Quran al Karim, but I don't understand their problems. I don't understand what they're going through. To be honest, it's in the Quran al Karim. We are, this is our obligation. We are told in the Quran not to kill ourselves, not to do a suicide. That's in the Quran. That's, our, that's a command given to us from the Quran. Now, some people, they may not be as on the deen, they may not take it as seriously. Unfortunately, and they may end up doing suicide or may end up having these sorts of thoughts and thoughts sometimes we cannot control thoughts There are points in time where we, where we may struggle to control thoughts which come into our minds so This is something we need to be mindful about as well So how do we deal with these sorts of thoughts? How do we deal with these sorts of things when it comes to our mind? One important thing is to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always. If you're going through a hardship, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that he makes it easier for you. You may be going through a struggle, but you must remember that there are people in this world who are going through an even bigger struggle than you. There's always going to be an individual who is always going to be finding it harder than you, harder than uh, the position you're in. So always be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and try, just try. Maybe you might find it difficult. Just try to see it from that perspective, uh, to see what you actually have. Uh, just see, just consider to yourself. Imagine if I was in the position of these people or in, in those people, you know, we need to be very mindful that uh, we, that we have so much. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us so much. We should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you're thinking of killing yourself, if you're thinking of doing these things, you're sort of, be, you're sort of being un ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you're sort of uh, saying to all of these blessings Allah has given you that I don't want any of these. You're sort of saying that all of these blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're not grateful for them, you don't care about them, you just want to end your life, which is somewhat ungrateful for all the bounties Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. And I know in the minds of some people it might be difficult to acknowledge that sometimes. But you know, we must remember to always stay patient, always have this great relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as soon as we have this great relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it will be very easy for us. And these thoughts, you know, we'd be able to overcome them. And we should also, as I mentioned earlier, we should make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we struggle, why are we heading towards suicide? Why don't we head towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? People might have a look and they might think that suicide it is an easier path. Because they don't realize long term what they're doing. And long term they are ruining the earth as well. But if you go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not only, not only are you improving your situation in this dunya, you're also improving your situation in the akhirah. 
and also about making dua. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, He declares, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي أَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ When my servants ask regarding me, indeed I am near. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي And when my uh, servants ask about me, أَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ Indeed I am near. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is near to us. When we need Him, He is there for us. So we shouldn't give up and we shouldn't uh, forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, we should remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it may be difficult for some people to get into this habit. But wallahi, if you put the effort in and you make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe at, sometimes when you're starting off, maybe not be that long of a dua, maybe if you start a short dua, if you just make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, I'm going through such and such problem, make it easy for me, Ya Allah. And regularly if you get into this habit and you have this great relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then no problem would ever be able to harm you. Also remember to stay patient. Patience is very important as well. Because we are going to be tested. We are going to be tested. In this dunya, we are going to be tested. But what does uh, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala say? فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Verily after hardship comes ease. فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Verily after hardship comes ease. That's why when we're going through a hardship, we should always remember that after this hardship, what's going to come? Ease is going to come. Even though maybe sometimes during hardship, I, I understand maybe due to human nature, we may think that, oh, this can't get any worse. This is just uh, horrible. Oh, it's not going to improve. I'm just in a bad position. But think to yourself. It will improve, insha'Allah ta'ala. Just keep praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep following Islam. Keep following the deen. Keep, stay strict on the deen. Keep uh, your close relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And try to create that bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we'll see any problem which faces you will completely be gone. I hope this has been beneficial. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.